Hi Scorpio, I hope that you're all doing well. This reading is going to be about what will be unfolding for you over the next three days. We're starting off with we're starting off with Ten of Pentacles and also Hanged Man. Ten of Pentacles, Hanged Man, Ten of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Five of Cups. I'm going to pull out one more card. Having this Seven of Swords here, this feels like something going on in your head that is like messing up your priorities or messing with your priorities telling you that certain things are important when that's not actually what's important and then have you feeling blue because of that and like missing an opportunity that's like right in front of you but because of being faced behind you towards your past not realizing that that opportunity is there when we have Ten of Pentacles and we have, so Ten of Pentacles is what feels important to you, goals, what you give value to, especially what you give like the most value to, your stability, your security, stuff going on within the 3D. When we have Hanged Man there, it begs a more like spiritual energetic question about what you're giving priority to and are you holding on to the Ten of Pentacles in a way that's actually inhibiting your energetic spiritual growth? Ten of Pentacles, when it's not be when the feeling surrounding it is not problematic, it not being an issue, but when it's hindering things, that being an issue. So there can be such an overemphasis on material things that it takes you into a shadow space. And this can be like not handling goals appropriately. It can be not handling your stability appropriately. It can be just anything that you would be doing that would even get in the way of your stability or you building towards what you want to build towards. When we have that seven of swords there, this can be, um, this can be like fear that you're experiencing as well. I wonder too if this is about, Ten of Pentacles can be these, these bigger goals that we have. When we have Seven of Swords there, this can be all of the things that you do that get in the way of you accomplishing the, ones, the things that you want to accomplish. And then when we have the Hanged Man here, this is like when we don't realize that we've been doing that. And also to what we're giving importance to. So I feel like this is kind of a two-pronged thing here. One of the one of the things is about are you overemphasizing material so much that you're neglecting spiritual? The other thing is when it comes to your material stuff, is there stuff that you are doing that is sabotaging these goals that you have and the things that you're working towards and like your stability? and feeling like safe and that things are okay through doing things that you may be unaware of or refusing to let go of, but that are actually sabotaging the, um, prolific energy within your life.
because I wonder if if you get the Ten of Pentacles, which feels like, okay, I have what I need. This feels good. Seven of Swords is stuff that will have you throwing that away, that has you sabotaging that. So Ten of Pentacles is like things are great, something is going on, and there's a sense of security that one feels with that. But then, and this can be too, like, like finally you reach a goal that's really important or finally you've stabilized something that feels important or you've like reached something or something is here and it's like um you don't you sort of reached something when we have a 10 it speaks about getting to the end of a cycle where what we've been working for comes to fruition like what we were intending comes to fruition that valuable conclusion has come to but then when we have seven of swords this is the stuff we do to then take ourselves backwards, to undo the work, to like you, you finally get that goal or achieve that thing. And then whatever you would do, that would be like ruining it then. It's kind of like you build this whole building and then you pull out the platform or the foundation and then the whole thing collapses and seven of swords and hanged man can be like not even being aware of doing that and this can be too for some reason seven of swords and hanged man is kind of feeling like um like these unconscious habits that you have that get in the way of your stability and your security but also too simultaneously i do feel like there can be a there can be like a little bit of a shadow side when it comes to the ten of pentacles like if i didn't see this bottom row yet and i just saw ten of pentacles and the hanged man this can be putting too much of a pressure on material things and then neglecting things spiritually and being like i'm i'm going to do what i need to do here to make this stuff materially happen and then when it comes to stuff on an energetic level, this actually being a thing that holds you back. I wonder too if there's something going on that has to do with what represents security and stability to you and like things are good and things are fine and things are all right. And that may be going through, like maybe before you had seen the Ten of Pentacles as one thing that it represented to you. And maybe now with the Hanged Man, you're going to see it as something else. Neptune can be connected with losses. Neptune can be connected with a carelessness. But sometimes Neptune can be because of stuff that we're not aware of too, like stuff that we're not seeing. And it can be stuff that we are prioritizing that we should be prioritizing other things. And if we were to check in, we would see that. When we have seven of swords and we have the hanged man, there can be stuff coming up that has to do with honesty, that has to do with honest self-reflection, that has to do with self-sabotage, has to do with trust issues, safety, security. The things that we do that then we regret even seven of swords hanged man five of cups because seven of swords can be this stuff that we do because we're like not thinking right or not paying attention like not being mindful so we're like doing this thing thinking like this is the thing to do this is how i get what i want like this is how i allow myself to be safe and secure and have the stuff that i like that type of train of thought but seven of swords is the way that we go about doing this like it's 
sort of qualifying the means because of the ends of the Ten of Pentacles, like like doing anything just to get the Ten of Pentacles and being like, it's okay that I do this because I'm going to get the Ten of Pentacles at the end. And then having the hanged man here can be that you could have done something and been like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And then there's like a, a growing that's happening within you, an awareness of the energy. You're becoming more aware of the energy and like even the karmic implications of things. And then you're like, why did I do that? It feels like there is a, a regret for doing whatever you did when you were channeling the energy of the seven of swords and then feeling like this actually created loss of some sort. When before Seven of Swords is like, I don't know what it was that you had. I don't know what, like what this Ten of Pentacles was for you, but it's like you, you have something that you treasure and that you value. And then Seven of Swords is doing something that at first you may have not realized that it was problematic. But then when we have the hanged man there, there is this awareness that we gain. It's like not knowing that something doesn't align with your values and then becoming aware that it doesn't and that it's problematic to you in some way. And then being like, like, look, looking at what just happened, like looking at what you did, but like you weren't aware of it before you didn't know it before. And then when we have the hanged man here, it can be this realization where you're seeing that seven of swords for what it is like you're seeing that energy for what it is you're seeing that self-deception or the the lies or like the sneaking or the manipulating or like whatever it is that was going on or the unconscious energy even with seven of swords how um i mean Ultimate, ultimately, I feel like Seven of Swords can be when we're the energy that we channel when we're not, when we're like telling ourselves that we're not going to come face to face with something. And so you do something in a sideways way, or like under the table type of way. And this can be something where if we're not practicing mindfulness, like we don't even notice that we're doing it. Because this doesn't feel like, this could have felt even too, like maybe you got a little ping, like, like maybe I shouldn't be doing this right now and like still did it anyway. And especially with Neptune here too, this is one of those times where your intuition starts talking to you and you're like, turn it all the way down so you don't have to hear it so you can still do what you want to do here. When we have Seven of Swords and the Hanged Man, but then you have to deal with the after effects of it. Like then you have to deal with the karma of it, the effect of the action. And then feeling overburdened with that, with 10 of wands and five of cups. Like this created stress. I, I thought I was even like getting away with something or like getting away from my intuition or my conscience when I did that. And like it was all fun and games until you're dealing with the after effect of that, the conclusion of that. And now you're like, this just created so much more stress for me. This just put so much more on my plate. This now has brought up all this stuff and you find out like there wasn't getting away with anything. This actually created more issues. And you can feel too, like there's something valuable that you had that you actually lost now. Or you can feel like you have some sort of regret over how something was done or how something was handled or the way you were thinking about something. And this also has to do too with what you're prioritizing. You could have been prioritizing something that was not a priority. And now you get to a point where you realize like that wasn't a priority. I was prioritizing that. And now look what I'm left with because I wasn't putting focus on the most important things here. But also too, I'm seeing this be one of those times where it's actually fine and it's actually okay because what we have too is we have Nine of Pentacles and we have Ace of Wands, which shows that like 
it's all right, now you have a new opportunity coming in and let's turn things around from here. You don't have to be stuck in that Five of Cups. Because what I'm seeing is that Five of Cups can be this like, I shouldn't have done that or why did I do that? Or if I could just go back, I would undo it. And like, that's great if it's going to inform you of current, present choices. But when you get to the point where this is just holding you back and you can't do anything about it, you can't go back there and change it. The way that this can benefit you is saying, if I were in the same situation, I would handle it this way instead. And then you move on. Now we move forward with things. Because what I'm seeing with the Nine of Pentacles and the... Um, Ace of Wands here, you have a door that's opening, which I feel like can kind of take you back to where you were before. It can allow you to build up what you had before, like whatever this was that was so important to you. It's an opportunity to, to do that, to achieve again, to go towards this Ten of Pentacles again. And this time do it in a way with the nine of pentacles where you're showing up and seeing yourself as capable able to handle the opportunity whereas before you could have felt like this can be a time where there's some something that's being reinforced where you get something good and unconsciously you think you don't deserve it and so you ruin it in some type of way but also, like, that's the beauty of life. This isn't just like a once and done type of thing. You get another chance. There's another chance coming in here. And it's a chance to show yourself what you learned by doing things in a way that you can look at and say, I don't want to do it like that moving forward. And now can be the time when change happens. But this can be some really heavy feelings that you're experiencing where you see how moving unconsciously or you see how moving in a way that's not mindful actually creates stress how it puts more on your plate and stuff that doesn't need to be on your plate that this created a problem and that you could have handled things in a different way and again not to go back and harp on stuff that can't be changed anymore but rather to look at this and say if this situation presents itself again, I'm going to review this now so I know that if this situation presents itself again, I'd handle it like this way instead and then I don't have to experience this again. So you learn from it. Because I think too that I'm seeing Seven of Swords be connected with Nine of Pentacles and this can come back to a place where sometimes you don't trust yourself, sometimes you don't be believing in yourself, sometimes you don't be seeing yourself as capable as able and you do things in a way that is sort of um like in that mindset if i if something is presenting itself to me and i am not seeing if i'm not believing in myself i'm not seeing myself as capable i'm gonna do it in some type of underhanded way now i can't escape the consequences from that and now you get the backlash of it and not wanting to do that. So I think this has to, this comes back to like your self trust and your self belief and seeing yourself as being capable and seeing yourself as maybe even like deserving too. I wonder if that's part of it as well. Because the Nine of Pentacles is that part of you that. There's an earning and a working and a putting in the energy and investing and seeing that stuff comes to fruition when you do that. And Seven of Swords can be you weren't doing that before. You could have been doing the opposite of that. And then it doesn't allow you to enjoy it. It's like you have the garden and then you don't get to enjoy the garden because you did something. You like set it aflame. But what I'm seeing is that you're like basically a gate is opening and you're getting like another plot of land and that you can sort of like recreate what you liked of this and then not recreate the moves that you didn't like that you made. And so you basically, this kind of feels like a bit of an energetic redo that I'm seeing. And it's not going to be automatic, like it's going to take some time, but... Um, 
Don't be so focused on the past and what you can't change that you miss the opportunity that's right in front of you. Because this is when we're facing towards the past. I do think too that this came from a place of you not prioritizing properly. And you, I'm getting confirmation of this. And you could have been prioritizing your shadow actually. Your shadow coming in and saying, this is important. This is what you want to be doing here. And then it just creating more issues, stress. And then being like, what am I going to do now? I feel too like this is one of those times where like this was an opportunity to work with your shadow and you can feel like like maybe you thought you had this handled like I got it I'm gonna work with my shadow I'll get it figured out and then like your shadow bested you and you can feel like you sort of lost to your shadow here a little bit in in this game of life in this cycle so your shadow's walking around like one point for me zero points for you um Meanwhile, what you gained is knowledge and understanding of the deepest, most hidden parts of yourself. Of the parts of yourself that are very sneaky and very strategic and very smart. Because that Seven of Swords is working with the most slippery parts of yourself. And just because maybe this time your shadow got the best of you. I'm seeing like a brand new opportunity be right there where like you get another chance, you get another try, you get to like go back in there and now you know more about the shadow's tactics and so you can make it different this time. And that is the power that you have. I see this too as like your independence being part of this because part of nine of pentacles is that you are capable of handling the things that show up and when we have seven of swords this is thinking like I'm not capable and then the things that we do because of that. Whereas I'm seeing this nine of pentacles here, I'm seeing you very capable of the opportunities that are approaching you and knowing how to handle them. But that seven of swords is your shadow saying you're not and then having to work with that part of yourself that does things when it's influenced by that thought and then not being aware of that but now becoming aware of that and that being the beauty of this cycle because having neptune here that's the part of you that like we run away instead of facing things to try to like get away with things or to try to like slip away or slide away or um avoid and then seeing sort of what the impact is of that what the effect is of that all right, my friends, we're going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.